on your heart. How many clients that you thought were stupid have you ever dealt with? Well, I guess I can see you scribbling down a really long list, but the question is, were they actually stupid? Hi everyone, this is Susanna from CodeSusanna.com and in this week's video I have Aga here with me and we will talk about how to deal with clients that some may perceive stupid. I'm sure you can relate. So you got a request and you talk through it for like a thousand times, you explain it to the very finest detail possible and from your point of view it's like crystal clear, you couldn't have been any clearer. Mm. And then you get a response from your client and <laughs> and it's like so frustrating so you go no this is it i can't work with those dot 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 anymore yeah. but, but really are they i mean i've been through a lot in my career and i've seen things where brain stops and really wonders yeah i mean really wonders but none of us we don't really believe that there is such a thing as a stupid client so i'm sure you've heard those sayings or phrases Common sense is not that common, and then ignorance is a bliss? I mean, common sense is not so common, it actually is very true, and we will take it as point number one. So not everyone will understand everything the way you expect or you imagine, because it is so clear and, and straightforward and simple, for many reasons, and it doesn't really make them stupid. So if you think about working with a client, uh, you know, from like a different cultural background or from a different part of the world, which happens a lot these days, and you're working on a video and they are asking you to make it more appropriate for like the bereavement period. So they want people to be wearing like white clothes and white to be more present as the color that, you know, <laughs> is purity and respect yeah, yeah. in the culture, whereas here it's more about black, right? Yeah, because white would be so inappropriate. It needs to be a symbol of grief and loss, so it has to be more black. And you're thinking like, what on earth are they asking me for? Yeah, so the question really here is like, are you trying to really understand where your client is coming from, right? Are you, uh, do you have the exact understanding as, as, as they have? So, because you know what, we are so easy to jump into conclusions and label people, but do we equally take as much time to try and understand them? I wonder, because you know, if you try to understand, you may find out that maybe the client of yours is uh, being under pressure by their manager and they are just simply scared for losing their job. Mm -hmm. So if you really try to understand, like genuinely to understand, so first of all, you will learn how to advise them better and how to sort of teach them or educate them on certain topics which basically it's not even their job because that's what they are paying you for to do those things exactly and it will help you and help them to understand it for the future and avoid such situations and second of all you are being an understanding and supporting human being and it is a pleasure to work with you so you know when they actually climb their career ladder and they progress and they you know maybe move on to like way more senior positions who do you think they're going to reach out to, you know, when the time comes? Exactly. Yeah, it's going to be you, because it shows that you genuinely help them to grow and to get there. So treat everyone with respect and try to understand where they are coming from and always be of assisted. After all, this is your job. People come with different types of backgrounds. They might be afraid of their superiors. They might be put into positions that are just destined to crush them. Does that make them stupid? Well, we don't think so. And we are quite strong about it. So we would like to really ask you, could you please stop calling your, yeah, your, your, your client stupid, even if it's from time to time or even if it's really hard. Uh, because you really, you know, it's not possible to have 100% of knowledge and, and understanding of, of the background of people and if you're going to be generally supportive and helpful, it's going to get back to you tenfold. It's like, you know, spreading good work karma. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be more than happy to hear your experiences with stupid clients in the comment box down below. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon uh, to get notified about next video. And as always, be kindly positive. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.